doesn't really like having a bath, but I'm going to go through how to uh, bath the full coated hem and ease. Now, if you're doing this in a bath at home, obviously you're going to be bending over. Um, but because I have the grooming bath, I'm just going to secure him so we can't jump out. Now, I've pre mixed shampoo and conditioner. Um, I won't go into brands because it really depends on your personal preference and your own budget as well. So you can go to somewhere like Pets at Home, you can buy shampoo, you can buy conditioners. I would recommend the Blueberry Facial for their eyes because for the faces because it's a no more tears so that you're not going to get stinging eyes with a Blueberry Facial. So I'll link a Blueberry Facial below. Um, I mix my shampoo in a jug and I use one of these. Um, and because um, these really lather up the soap really, really well, you get a nice lather on the coat, which is cleaning the coat. Now what you don't want to do is rub. I just go down with the coat, down with the coat, all the way through the coat with the soap. I don't pre-wet. No need to pre-wet because it will dilute the shampoo. I just want a really nice lather on the coat and make sure that you cover every inch of the dog. No rubbing, just work straight down the shaft of the hair. Give the bum a good clean, you want a nice clean bum don't we Sky? It's a nice clean tush don't we? Yeah. And just work it all over the dog. I lift the feet to make sure I get all the hair around the foot. And work that shampoo. Make sure we do it underneath all the bits. Don't be, don't be shy. You've got to get all the bottom bits done. All the way down underneath. I make sure all the coat has got soap on it. Uh, when I was training grooming, I was told if you go straight in with the soap, if your dog ever has fleas, it stuns them. Whereas if you wet first, they can put a bubble around themselves. So uh, it's a good way to find if you have got any, because they'll just sit on top of the coat. Not that we have to do that. So now when you do the face, I before you probably noticed I moved his hair backwards. Um, I tend to put my hand over there and then work all this bit here and it stops the soap going in his eye. But again, if you use the blueberry facial, I haven't got any today, I've run out. I need to order some. Um, and I just gently do this with my hands around here so that we're not getting soap in the eyes. We want to get all this thick ear hair, so from underneath the ear and down, not just from the top. And underneath here, and make sure you get soap in, turn his ear inside out, all down his chin, and underneath and into his armpits. And just work it down the coat. You do not want to be doing this with the hammer knee. You do not want to be causing any friction in the coat. Good boy, and give me a paw. Every inch, every inch of the coat has been lathered. And then round the face, gently just down the sides of the muzzle without getting anything in his eye. And I just get my fingers in the corners there and I use my nails. Good boy. Good boy. Let's lift this paw. Let's go down. And this paw. Okay, so he's now been soaked up all over. I just let that sit on the coat and let it do its job really, which is to clean. I do tend to go through the feet because they can get mold and stuff built up in the in the paws, so let's make sure all those paws are nice and clean. And then we can rinse it out. 
The most important thing before you back your have an ease is to comb or brush through the coat. So I've done a video on how to comb the Havanese. You must do that first because if you try and bath the Havanese, so it's got mats and knots, they just felt up when they get wet. So you must make sure the coat is not free before you bath. And let's just rinse all that out. So again, I put my hand over there and just rinse and pull it away from his eyes. Rinse and pull it away from his eyes. And then hold the head up whilst I do the chin. Come around there. So it's not, he's not got his head down, it's not running. It's running away. Good boy. There we go. The chin's done. And then all my ears, I can feel it squeaking. And if you use your hands, the hands are your most important tool. You can feel when it's out of the cold and when it's free of the soul. Good boy. Good boy. to go in with some conditioner and this is one that I pre-mixed. Any conditioner is fine, any dog shampoo. Don't be using human stuff because it's a different pH. Um, make sure you do buy dog shampoo conditioner. And I'm just again I put my hand over it so it doesn't run down his face and I get it in everywhere. So where his hair is especially thick make it easier to comb through later. Make sure it runs. These are great, these bottles, because you can control where it's going. So I would recommend a mixing bottle. It makes it easier to apply it evenly all through the coat. Now on the face, round here where the collar is. And down all the legs. So we get all the feathers, all the fur around the legs covered in conditioner. And I'll just gently smooth it through the fur. Make sure it's covered everywhere. And I'll let that sit on this fur for a few minutes. Be a good boy, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Just massage it through. run down and off the coat and work my way down this body. Right. I'm never ever rubbing his coat, I'm always just working with the hair shaft. Yeah. I start at the top but the conditioner runs down through the coat as well. gentle squeeze. Get as much excess water out of the coat as I can, run down his legs, down the coat and I gently squeeze excess moisture out. And down the leg, this one, so we're not dripping everywhere. And get a towel and just gently, gently so we're not damaging the coat, we're not being rough with the coat at all. 
gently squeeze excess moisture out. That's better, isn't it, Sky? Eh? Oh, you're not bad. Not bad. Oh, we're making bad pipe noises. Eh? See how wet and how much moisture's come out of that. And I'll get a dry towel then. Wrap him up in a dry towel. Let's get the little ones going. Well done, yeah, good boy. And then we'll go back to the table. I'll wrap this around him and just collect any more moisture as well. And we'll go back to the grooming table. <laughs> 